Thank you, Zach. And with that cool weather, some Chesterfield students might like to soon be sleeping in, while others could be waking up much earlier than they're used to. School board members are thinking about delaying school start times by 40 minutes or shifting school schedules entirely. Tracy Sears tells us why and how much it might cost taxpayers. Tracy? Well, Bill, recent studies show that a lot of high schoolers, they do much better academically and they're involved in less car accidents if they get more sleep. Yet school leaders say implementing a later school start time for teenagers comes with many, many challenges. When kindergartner Connor Lord gets off his Chesterfield school bus, it's after 4 o'clock. He's wiped out by then at that point, so I would hope he would never get home later than that. But Chesterfield school leaders are considering that option, pushing back the start time for all schools by 40 minutes in hopes that high schoolers who are now in school by 7.20 a.m., will have more time to sleep in. While an early start to his day gets Robert Cross home in plenty of time for his afternoon job, the hours take a toll. When you go to bed past midnight and then you wake up before 7, um, it's hard to stay awake. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics now recommends that teenagers start the school day at 8.30 a.m. or later. That has the Chesterfield School Board considering several different options. For example, they're looking at flipping high school and elementary school start times at a cost of $4 million, or flipping high school and middle school start times at a cost of $6.7 million, or starting high school and middle school at the same time at the much higher cost of $34 million. School leaders say financially their decision has to make sense. It's probably not realistic to think that we're going to buy 300 new uh, school buses and hire 300 additional bus drivers. So, you know, the $38 million option is probably out the window. School leaders must also consider making sure younger students have someone to go home to that early in the afternoon and that high schoolers still have plenty of time for after school activities and sports. <laughs> Whatever the decision, parent Angela Cassano hopes it's carefully made. You've got to weigh the risk and the benefit of both, but you've also got to realize that a lot of dominoes would fall if this shifts. Now, school leaders met this afternoon to discuss six different scenarios. If they make a decision this year, it will have to be by March 1st. Reporting in Richmond, Tracy Sears, CBS 6 News.